Welcome to Newport Living and Lifestyles. I'm Kristen and I'm here with champion sailor Brad Reed and executive director of Sail Newport. Thanks for having us today. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for being here and covering the stopover and Sail Newport. It's an exciting time out here right now. So tell us a little bit about what's going on at the village. Well, the sailors are coming from Brazil right now. So on the sporting side, uh, we are so, um, we're just very proud to be picked as the only North American stopover. Newport, Rhode Island has been welcoming sailors, uh, mariners for millennium. And we get to open our arms and uh, really welcome these uh, men and women who are sailing around the world. You know, we've been doing this for so many years, from rum runners to pirates to naval captains to recreational sailors. Uh, Narragansett Bay is the true home of sailing, and uh, we're just proud to be able to be the host uh, of this great event coming to Newport. Well, it goes right along the mission of how Sail Newport got started. So exactly. that's really fascinating. It really is. And, you know, we were founded after the loss of the America's Cup in 1983. And as many people remember, we all thought the sky was falling. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Robin Wallace, Paul Buttros, um, Bart Dunbar got together and said, what's next? Let's make a special events management company to bring sailing and international events back to Newport after the loss of the Cup. And they did. And we've come full circle, hosting the largest, you know, crude offshore sailing event in the world. Uh, with incredible amount of media. It makes Rhode Island look amazing, Newport, uh, Narragansett Bay, and, and it brings us all full circle to why we're here, which is to introduce the public to sailing. And what a great focal point the Volvo Ocean Race or the America's Cup is to identifying sailing as a really incredibly uh, healthy recreation. Uh, it's great for our marine industry. There's so many positives that come out of hosting this event. So you have a lot of educational places down at the village. Tell us a little bit about those. Well, the One Ocean Exploration Zone uh, that's presented by 11th Hour Racing, which is one of the team sponsors as well, uh, that uh, is a, uh, it's a huge structure that we've built in the village inside Fort Adams to showcase the environmental sustainability programs of so many nonprofits and uh, educational components around the state. We're going to have over 4,000 school children coming on scheduled uh, field trips throughout the, the 13 days. Uh, the exploration zone opens on the 12th, so it opens the Saturday after the village opening. Uh, so please bring the kids down, bring the family down, experience that and so many other things in the village super fan uh family family friendly yes and, um, <laughs> they say that three times yeah fa family friendly <laughs> yeah i noticed that there's one exhibit where the mm. people can actually go in and it's like actually being on a sailboat right so they have uh what's called the race boat experience okay. and uh, volvo has taken one of these volvo 65s and cut it in half lengthwise mm -hmm. and made it a uh, a feature that you can go in see where the nav station is it's actually a Volvo 65 and they set it up so you can walk in and, and see everything that's going on. They have a boat yard. You can go in and watch them recutting sails or working on the rigging packages um, and, and they have a, a really neat display of all the suppliers that are on all the boats okay. from North Sails to Harkin Winch, uh, you know, all a lot of Rhode Island companies that are helping get these boats around the world. So it's it's a quite an extraordinary uh, event. As you can see, there's cranes all over the place, yes. forklifts, <laughs> the whole deal. Um, and, and we're just so proud of the, all the volunteers and all the staff working triple time to make this happen. So if someone wants to volunteer, how do they sign up? It's not too late. You okay. go to volvooceanracenewport.com, hit the volunteer button. It takes you to a web form. You sign up that web form. You'll get a, a lot of email correspondence right back. Then you go on. You pick your shifts on where you want to uh, where you want to volunteer. And there's plenty of opportunities still left. Okay. Now, what about parking? Everybody always wants to know about parking. Yes. Well, parking is free from the opening of the village time okay. and through the 11th. We start a parking fee on the 12th. Um, it's one of our really only revenue streams because after you park or after you come by a water shuttle, you walk in and it's a free entry into the village and then you're just enjoying the, the, the amazing, uh, you know, exhibits that the Volvo Ocean Race is. So you come here, you park, uh, we'll, we'll direct you to the parking lots uh, that, that we have available at the time. So I've noticed that there's an opportunity to win to get on a boat. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, we have a few things available. Please contact me at Sail Newport, 846-1983, or brad.reed at sailnewport.org. And um, <laughs> we do have some uh, opportunities that will be available right up until Tuesday the, Tuesday the 15th or Wednesday the 16th. We have a great raffle. 
Uh, we have a raffle for two spots in the Gurney's Resorts import race. Right. The import race is on uh, Saturday the 19th, uh, and it also, the, there's two seats on one of the boats. All you right. get to race on oh one of the boats. Oh my gosh, how fun would that yes. be? And they don't leave the uh, the bay, so don't worry, you're not gonna go all the way across the Atlantic. <laughs> it's an in-port race. Okay. They sail right here off, uh, uh, off the shores of Fort Adams, off Gurney's Resorts, and also uh, out, to, out to Castle Hill. You know your phone's gonna blow up after oh, this. it's great. <laughs> and they're $100 a piece, these tickets. Okay. Uh, it includes two tickets to the gala the night before. Fun. So it's a really, it's an experience from Friday all the way through Saturday. So and what are the hot nights to come? Well, there's a great series. Uh, first of all, the, the village is open from 10 or 11 in the morning till 7 at night. Okay. We have some after hours uh, Heineken uh, parties that are going on all over town. One's at the landing, one's at the deck, and two are at Gurney's. So those nights are on our website. It's the 11th, the uh, 17th, 18th and 19th. So those days are going to be great in town, but every night's great yeah. in town. And one of the reasons we close the village at seven is so that people can go downtown and experience the restaurants, the bars, uh, all that Newport has to offer. Let's paint the town Volvo. Yeah, we did an, a really nice economic impact study last time, which uh, which we've shared around the world. You know, with a very conservative estimate on the multiplier, including the institutional spending that Volvo did, it was 47 over $47 million of, of direct economic benefit to the state of Rhode Island. I love it. It's beautiful here. Your new building is amazing. So thanks so much for joining us today. You bet. And fun, educational, historic, and free. Look forward to seeing you around Newport with Newport Living and Lifestyles.